Hi again, I'll be following in this uh, recording uh, the following exercise. So we need to move uh, all the entry from a queue into a stack. So if you uh, didn't watch or solved already exercise, uh, the one before that, uh, this one, so please solve it. You will find a link for this exercise in the description of this video. So uh, let's move here. So we have a queue and a stack. I have already created a queue and filled it with four element. The stack already with four element. I have printed the queue and stack and then we will write the function move and then we'll print the stack and you again. So here, uh, I will keep it 2020 for now and uh, as we have seen later so uh, we should move all the elements from EQ to the stack I will reduce the uh, number of elements in the stack so and I will keep it 6 so in order to have a full uh, stack so let's write the function move so void move move the first parameter is a stack is a, uh, is a queue so I need to empty a queue into a stack so queue address of Q, so Q pointer and stack pointer to a stack. So I need to empty a Q, so uh, we need an element and we will loop over the Q, so as long as we have a front element. So here the reference Q, address of E. So we have seen in the previous exercise that we should, you know, if I have a, a front element, and uh, I will try to push it into the stack because if I cannot push it I will not dequeue it from the queue so I will push in S because I have a pointer here the element E and you can either write the dequeue after in the while loop or you can add it directly here so dequeue queue and this is it let's run So we have in the queue 2583 and we have in the stack 0, minus 8, 20 and 3. So we have printed both queues and then we have moved all the elements from the queue to the stack. However, the stack can contain just up to six elements. So we have taken 2, 5 and we have pushed it into the stack and it remains 8 and 3 in the queue. So this is for this exercise. If you have any questions or clarifications, so write to me or comment on the video below and I will answer you back as soon as possible. Again, thanks for watching.